Hi everyone, have a nice day. Today I'm going to show you something layer in big data architecture. Now, as you see, there's something layer. I use some program for data warehouse, semantic layer, and presentation layer. These are generally Microsoft SQL Server Management, and other one is um, SQL Service Analysis Services. Other one is Power BI, Microsoft Power BI. I going to introduce some as adventure work sample database now I used data warehouse now other step is semantic layer in created a new data model and create new relationship between them table last one is presentation layer in Microsoft Power BI now I will see just one dashboard now you will see there's something table and statistical visualization. Now I can pass start this first step. First step is a data warehouse. Actually, now it is the first step is data source. Now you can think as data source contain many different source. Some of these are application, uh, for example, e-commerce application and local mention server information and log uh, other one is files uh, something like that it may be excel file and databases okay these are data sources now other one is data warehouse now uh, firstly you can see atl process atl process is extract transform and load process now it is necessary for uh, extract uh, noise data for example noise data has including some extreme value and outlier values or missing and non values now you can extract with ATL process from data source then you create data warehouse as databases in Microsoft SQL server management okay now I can start this first process first process is Microsoft SQL now first is a definition a new adventure work process from now you can reach adventure work sample database in documentation of Microsoft official website now you can download data warehouse adventure work data warehouse 2019 that's back okay you can see and you will download this now other step is import in data SQL server management studio now I can definite and now you will see restore database I click restore database now other one is device click and now click now add a path of adventure work as you can see there now if you click and select then ok ok click now you will see is there this database already exists therefore I don't download ok now you will see adventure work 2019 databases in database ok now you can use in semantic layer in short a okay now I will display this process now now I'm here data warehouses it is finished other step is semantic layer now I will use Microsoft analysis services for semantic layer tabular model tabular model now other one is a multi-dimensional dimensional is not um, used in study in video now I just use tabular model now I will see okay now first is file new and project click okay you can write tabular model tabular model as you see analysis services tabular project now it's enough to click now next I can next now uh, for example an example Tabular. that's optional okay I can create this model it is okay integrate workspace now I can select Azure 
analyze the services. I can click OK button. Now I can wait for this. Now my model is open. Now I can define some table. Uh, firstly, I find a new uh, data sources. Now I can display. Now import from data source. I can click. Now you can see um, a SQL Server database. Okay, I can click. Cannot uh, connect. Now I can write just that because I used my database in my local host. Now I can click OK. I can pass now. I can in personal service account. I can select this and I can connect. Now passed. Now data table in Adventure Work 2019. Now you can see several data table now in this study I can just use product now other one is product category cost history now it is enough in this video now uh, okay I can wait for this because it's these are loads now it's finish okay now <coughs> I can use product and product detail other product detail tables now it is a fact table fact table you can think as master table and main table it is main table uh, sorry it, it's it's main table now i can change design now you can see that's main table uh, in fact fact table now other one is dimension table it is dimension and it is dimension table now i can relationship now it is default relationship there is product id and product id menu to one relationship there is something to relationship type some of these are menu to one and one to one and menu to many relationship but many to many relationship is uh, not quality relationship type it is necessary additional calculate table uh, for example scientific tables now you have to create a new calculate table because it is necessary many to one relationship many to many relationship is not uh, using because it has it will it will have some missing value a missing result now you will see okay i can create menu to one relationship now you can see filter direction in short you can think as a production product cost table is dimension table okay i can cancel now other one is product category now it's not necessary okay i can delete from model now it is enough uh, by the way i can add other table now you can see import new table uh, it's shown as you see you can see product id now i can wait for this okay it is finished now product list cost okay now i can create a new relationship now create relationship now product id now that's my fact table okay product id now you can see menu to one relationship generally fact table one and dimension table and many now as you see say menu to one relationship generally it came from dimension to fact table fact table generally just one unique because uh, many to one relationship flow from dimension to um, fact table now filter direction is dimension filter direction is dimension table now i can select production production list okay because it is dimension table now uh, other one is fact table fact of this production product table sorry now i can select okay now there is something type design of uh, analysis services data model okay 
it's finished now i can start this deploy all of model now i can start i can select this process now i wait for this um i wait for this okay it is finished by the way i can go to now i can create a new calculation new add column for example now if i want to add new amount just month just month okay now i can use month function now modify sorry modify now you can see now let's wait for this now you, you can see month number of modified date other one is you can write year for example equal year date date modify date it came from modify date now i can finish this you will see year okay that's okay um, i can pass and now i can start this one okay it's finished now i can pass last step last step is presentation layer now i can pass in shortly Microsoft Power BI and I will create I'm going to create a dashboard with statistical visualization now semantic layer is finished other one is data warehouse is finished Power BI Power BI is a business intelligent program now I will share the new documentation link medium.com and Microsoft documentation I will share with you now you will see in under the video okay now i can get data now i create a new live connection live connection is necessary connection uh, between uh, presentation layer and semantic layer now therefore is necessary now i can create a new live connection okay now you can click analyze the services server name dot or local host okay you can see the tabular model and example tabular you can see there now model there is something transaction as you will see this model contain following dimension and my uh, measures production uh, products uh, product cost history and list price history now okay that's correct I can check this now I wait for this now okay my table is coming there now you will see field area now in okay now first is use in bottom on the page select product ID okay without calculate now you can see there don't send has okay name name is customer name okay other one is custom model i is not necessary one is sales start dates it's maybe other one is plus plus maybe necessary now you will see i can pass other step other step is standard cost now i can use now as some aggregate function okay other one is price this price this price is total amount now i can sum errors is the default coming now uh, basically you can see now other one is visualization of uh, you can change your table type and display now you can see for purchase now other one is visual now type present minimal minimal that's okay other one bold it's maybe keep now other one is uh, different for example donut chart generally using in uh, dashboard in power bi and other business intelligence tools now i can product name now you can see legend name now i create a name for example it may be list price okay this price is value that's my value now sum but there is 
huge value now I can reduce all of them for example name I can create a new filtering advanced filtering uh, sorry on top end now I want to just top 10 value I can select now list price this price is some okay apply filter now you will see you can see just top 10 list price hidely hidely product name now you will see other one is I can copy and paste now I can change as different for example stacked column chart now based on product value is list practice and change display and color bar okay you will see select this fx function now list price is based on list price sum okay now i can add middle color middle color it may be just dark blue now i can select now change again dark blue now are also option you can set in the color okay okay that's finish you can add different statistical visualization as you see okay i can save for example an example now just one step is publish now you can publish and you will see on website based on power bi in today's finish thanks a lot for watching and listening have a good day